right. Hi, everybody out there. Um, hey, how's everyone today? <laughs> welcome to our first episode of the Narwhals and the Waterfalls mini show. Coming to you live from our respective offices. Yeah, we're so excited to see all of you. I'm Mrs. Page. Mr. Adrian. <laughs> and we like to... <laughs> oh. What? And this is oh, Marley. Yes, can't forget about Marley. Yes, Marley hiding out over there. All right, Sorry, so let's start this like we always try to with a quick check in. Hey, hey, what's the mood today? I know sometimes it's hard to say. Hey, hey, what's your mood today? Whatever you feel is all right. All right. So we'll start with you, Miss Paige. How are you feeling today? All right. So today I'm feeling pretty happy. I'm in a pretty good mood and I've gone on a walk and with my dog. So I'm feeling pretty happy today. How about you, Mr. Adrian? How are you doing? Hmm. I would say relaxed fairly relaxed uh excited that weird mix of excited and scared for trying a new show idea here but feeling pretty good feeling pretty good and well good course, yeah a lot of people feel that way with new stuff so it's true it's all right and how so about I have, marley over there I have, can't forget it. about marley. oh we can't forget about right. marley how about you marley how you doing today how are you marley Marley says she's really, really bored. Bored. I get that. I get that. She's just been like swimming in circles with nothing to do all day long. And yeah. she has, you know, all of her friends have to stay in in their family's pods. Mm -hmm. So, you know, she just, she feels bored. Like all of her friends, she get, doesn't get to see any of her friends. So yeah, that's too bad. That's too bad. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think we're all feeling a little bit of that at this point. Uh, what are you doing to not be bored, Miss Page? Hmm. Like I said, I have been going on a lot of walks with my dog Luna, uh, and that's been really fun. Um, I've been playing my guitar. Okay. And making some fun videos. Well, so. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? How have you been taking care of yourself this week? Well. I have a whole list of little projects around the house that I said I'd get to someday. And so I finally took some time to actually do them. And it feels really good. I guess that's why there's that relaxed feeling. Once you actually accomplish something, it feels feels nice. You feel like you can relax for the day. And I've had a few days in a row where I knocked out that big project and could just relax. Yeah, that's awesome. Sometimes it feels like you know, we're bored because we've been sitting down for all day, but it's good to get up and be active and think through all the things that, you know, you've always wanted to do. This is true. Yeah. All right. So for you guys at home, let's give you guys a chance, whoever you're watching this with, we're going to throw up the full mood meter here so you guys can look at it and ask each other how you're doing today. So we're really excited to go live with y'all today because we are going to start a weekly live stream where every single Thursday at 6 o'clock p.m. Central Time, we are going to be going live with me, Mr. Adrian, and Marley. Um, and we're going to be doing fun stuff like sometimes we're going to be doing concerts, sometimes we're going to be interviewing people, and we have some trivia questions for you every week. And then, you know, just fun. So <laughs> we're really excited to do these live streams every single week at six. And we hope that you'll join us for the fun. All right. And next, we want to talk about something really cool we have coming up called SEL Core. SEL Core is something we put together and we're hoping to launch on July 6th. 
It is a membership site where we're hoping to pull together a bunch of different teachers and parents and kind of pool our resources. We actually had this plan for quite a while, and now it seems even more important to be able to share these resources, share what's working, share what's not, and help each other and support each other as we're trying to figure out what school looks like right now. So SEL Core is our attempt to facilitate that. Yeah. Yeah, we're super excited about that. And we've been working really hard on you know, collecting all of our resources and putting them together for you. And we, we are so excited about building a community like that. Yes. A link to sign up to get updates as we start rolling things out is in the description currently. And we'll circle back around to that a little bit later. But our biggest news of the day is, of course, that we are releasing... It went live on YouTube six minutes ago, <laughs> our newest music video <laughs> for our song, If I Rode My Horse. So we're going to debut that for you guys right now. Yay! If I rode my horse to Mexico, across the desert oh so hot, when I met my friend at the stables, I would wave and say, hola. If I took a plane to Italy, flying up into the clouds, when I met my friend at the airport, I would smile and say, Many ways to say hello It's more than just a word you know It's the actions and respect we show So grab your passport and let's go If I booked a cruise ship to Japan Took a nap under the stars when I met my friend at the docks, I would bow and say, Konnichiwa. If I rode a dolphin to Kenya, held my breath when he dove down low. When I met my friend at the beach, I'd look in their eyes and say, Ujambo. Many ways to say hello It's more than just a word you know It's the actions and respect we show So grab your passport and let's go It's a wave in Mexico Hola. It's a smile in Italy Ciao. It's a bow in Japan Konnichiwa. It's a handshake in Kenya Ujambo. So grab your passport and let's go Alright, so that leads into our fourth to-do of the day, which is my favorite one so far, which is we need you guys to send us your videos. Now, as you saw in that song, it's all about greetings and there's actions in between, you know, riding a horse, uh, riding a dolphin, all of that. And you may have caught one of those clips that was a little bit different than the others. And I'll play that for you real quick right here. Hey, get Hi, they. Okay, go ahead. Turn to each other. Alright. Ready? Say hi, bye bye, bye bye. <laughs> so, that was actually a clip. Well, let's backtrack a little bit. I actually was lucky enough to live in Japan for a few years. Um, moved there when I was 25, I guess. Um, and lived there for three years. And so I messaged a friend of mine who was actually uh, my pastor while I was over there and asked him if he could send me a video of his family 
doing a proper Japanese bow, which is what you just saw there. He sent that to me through Facebook Messenger, was able to use it, and I think it really helped with the video. So our goal is to remake the video, but entirely with clips like that from you guys. Whether it's bowing, shaking hands, smiling, uh, any of the other things you saw in the video, we want to compile it all together so that we can make a completely new video just of you guys and what you send in. Uh, Marley, Marley just asked me a question, mm -hmm. and she wanted to know if she could send in a clip of her riding a horse. Of her riding a horse. That would be awesome. Okay. So that's how she's going to participate. Now it's your turn to think about how you want to participate. Exactly. Yeah, so send those. There will again, again be a link in the description. You can either send it through Facebook Messenger, uh, or you can email us at hello at narwhalsandwaterfalls.com. And there's also a brief disclaimer that we'd like for you to uh, accompany each submission. Make sure your parents know. Uh, must be 18 or older. And there's a brief disclaimer just so that you know, just to get permission to use the video. And so we can make sure that everyone who's included is happy and excited about it. Yes. And, you know, this video is really fun on its own, but uh, something that we've done is created lesson plans and activities to go with it. And today we're giving you the freebies, which includes the lesson plan and, and all the activities. Uh, we're providing those for free in a link that's in the description below. And one of the things that you'll get is your very own world passport, where you'll get to put your name and your picture and you can travel the world and even draw and write some cool stuff on there. So yeah, definitely download those mm -hmm. uh, in the description below. And now we move on to our last segment of the show, which is our SEL trivia. Each week, we're gonna try to ask a few questions, see if we can stump each other, uh, just to learn more about our bodies, about emotions, and all the stuff that goes along with that. So, Paige, would you like to kick us off here? Yes. All right. So uh, we're going to be doing four questions about the brain, and um, and you get 30 seconds to answer. Now, if you want to, you can answer on the Facebook Live stream. Mm -hmm. So here's the first one. Are you ready? Are you ready, Marley? She's ready. All right. The first trivia question. A neuron is a nerve cell that carries information through our bodies. The biggest collection of neurons in our body is in our brain, where there is 86 billion. Where is the second biggest collection of neurons in the body? All right, go. Are we ready for an answer? I think so. Let's see. All right. Here we go. All right. So the answer is in our stomach. Yeah. All right. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. On to question number two. What does Nirvana mean literally? I know you've heard of the band, probably. Hopefully. If your parents are doing their job. <laughs> but what does the word Nirvana actually mean? 30 seconds on the clock and go. All right, five seconds and three two, one. Nirvana means to breathe out or to let go. Oh, Marley. I just asked Marley what she thought, and she thought that it meant live, laugh, love. Oh, well, close. <laughs> it's kind of close. It's okay, Marley. Maybe you'll get the next one. 
All right. All right. So here's the next trivia question. How long is your attention span? Hmm. Now, each of you can do this for yourself. It's five minutes for each year of life. So go ahead and think on, think on it. You got 30 seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Marley says that her attention span is a thousand minutes. A thousand minutes. Can I do that? Yeah, so try to figure out how old Marley is. Whoa. Based on that. It's a very old narwhal. Is that 200 years old? Good for her. I mean, no. in narwhal years. Yes. Yeah, I was right. Okay, I figured it out. What is, what's the narwhal <laughs> year? What's the narwhal year? You know, that's for another trivia. Mm. Good call. All right. <laughs> so now our last question of the day. What is the best food for your brain? Huh. And five, four, three, two, one. It's foods with omega-3 fatty acids. So, if you were thinking of any of the following foods like salmon, trout, sardines, a lot of fish, uh, apparently, again, I was researching this myself, 60% of our brain is just fat. And these fatty oils help rebuild our brain. Um, hmm. So beans, lentils, eggs, grass-fed beef, all these things have high omega-3 fatty acids, and they're good for your brain. Marley says that, you know, she's never eaten sardines, and she heard that they're really, really salty. Hmm. I don't know. I haven't actually eaten them either. So do all of these foods taste good, or...? Oh, or what? Grass-fed beef? Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> eggs, you know, when done right. And but I sometimes, eat. you know, we have to try to eat foods that don't exactly taste great, but yeah. they're good for us because they help our brain grow stronger, food. right? Exactly. Right? Exactly. <laughs> Got to take one for the team. All yep. right. Well, I guess that is it for our trivia today. Hope you learned something. Hope you picked up some new info. You can use around the house, you can use to make this time at home a little bit more enjoyable. Yeah. Oh, I had someone, um, Lizbeth on here. She said ice cream. Ice cream. It's good, it's good for, your, for brain. your brain. Hmm. I have to do some research. There's a lot there. of plant-based ice cream out there. That is possible. Plant-based sardine flavored ice cream might be really good <laughs> for your brain. <laughs> All right, we're going to say goodbye with a song and then a breath today. Goodbye.
All right, and we're going to end today with a narwhal breath. Take it away, Adrian. All right, so, of course, we have to make the tusk. Well, that's right, the tusk. Mm -hmm. So make your tusk, and we're going to dive down deep into the water, and we have to hold our breath so we have all the power to break through the ice, okay? So take a deep breath. Then we go up, 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 and poke your tusk through the ice, and breathe out. And one more time, nice big narwhal breath, all right? Let me see your tusk, and then we dive down deep, and break through. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed yeah. today. Hi, Finn. Hi, Finn, Marley. Hi, Finn. All right, and we'll see you <laughs> next week at the same time. Go ahead and check out the links below to sign up for uh, show notes, get a free download of that curriculum, and uh, to send us your videos for our crowdsource version of If I Rode My Horse. See you next time.